Hi, this is Devin Hobb with Remax, and we are in Lehigh today in the Park Estates neighborhood, which is a satellite neighborhood of Ivory Ridge. This particular home has a grandfathered through HOA fee of only $17 a month versus all the new homes having to opt in to roughly $117 a month because, uh, but you can, you can opt in to the more expensive HOA, which would then get you access to the Ivory Ridge swimming pool, the tennis courts, the indoor tennis courts, and a fitness center and all the gym classes that come along with that in the community. So you can opt in, but this one's grandfathered through at the lower HOA fee, which includes, um, there's a nine acre park just up the street, turn left, and uh, there's a big nine acre park there with a splash pad, walking trails, basketball. Anyway, awesome neighborhood. So this house was built in 2015. It's a three car garage. It has an RV pad as well. And it was professionally landscaped underneath the snow. You can't see it now, but it's very pretty landscaping. And uh, I'll take you inside for a tour. So let's do the tour now. And starting off, it's an electric bolt. Uh, starting off, this is a vaulted ceiling and it's open right here. So it has a really nice open entryway and this great room, very spacious. It was Ivory's deluxe kitchen package. So what it includes is dovetail drawers instead of staples. So this is way better quality and it's soft closing. We have granite countertops, stainless appliances, and this fridge is not gonna stay. There's a kitchen downstairs as well, and that fridge will also not stay. Um, they're gonna keep the fridges. There's some nice modern light fixtures, lots of open lighting, and all these windows bring in a lot of natural light, and the nice thing about this home is the backyard gets the south-facing sun, and as you can see, the snow after a snowstorm yesterday, the snow is all melting away and the concrete's starting to show again so that your kids can play or you can enjoy your outdoor fire pit. We're gonna show you the backyard at the end of the video. Uh, for now, let's go over here to the master. So we've got a very spacious master bedroom here. Um, we have the walk-in closet here and you'll notice just big windows letting lots of natural light in here. Um, this master bathroom has the separate tub and shower. It's a crushed marble uh, surround and crushed marble sink as well. It has the double sink and then a little bathroom, uh, toilet room over there. So that's their master. And right here we've got a half bath and then behind you've got a laundry. This laundry room is very nice, has lots of built-in cabinets, granite countertops. The cellar will keep the washer and dryer. There's a Nest thermostat and that will stay. And then down here, we've got two more bedrooms. So we've got guest bedroom number one, guest bedroom number two. And um, one thing I should note about all the bedrooms is they have really wide closets. So they're all double wide closets. Let's go back into the great room. I want to uh, show you one more feature. So all of the interior walls on the main floor and in the basement were insulated when the home was built with a rock sole material, which is specific to sound deadening. So it really helps to keep your master a lot more um, quiet from the living area. Helps if you're putting a kid in this bedroom, they're not gonna hear the guests as well. Um, so anyway, it's got that material. And then in the floor joists, there's a uh, blown in cellulose. So that will help with sound deadening from main level foot traffic to downstairs if you're down there. So let's go down here. In the basement again, it's got another nice great air, like an open space here. And the big selling point is this full size kitchen. And this kitchen is very nice. It has this separate entrance here, and you could use that as a mother-in-law entrance if you want it. Now, this fridge is not gonna stay. 
All the stainless appliances elsewhere will stay. We have a gas stove, granite countertops, and again, they upgraded the cabinets to the dovetail and soft close. Um, this area, in the ceilings, they did pre-wire for surround sound, if you wanted to have wired surround sound. Um, and then, let's see here, there's this room here. These two bedrooms are, actually all three of the bedrooms down here are extra large. So in this one, we've got really a lot of depth here. And then in this closet, it's the same depth, but, or this bedroom, this, this bedroom's the same depth, but it has a really big closet. So you can see here, it's a pretty much a walk-in closet. And then we'll take you over to the third bedroom. Well, the third bedroom down here. This is bedroom number six in the home. And this is a really nice bedroom as well. Right here, we've got a utility room with the cold storage. So a couple things to note in here. The freezer will not stay. The safe will not stay. They'll have that moved out. The uh, storage racks, these are not bolted down. They're going to keep their gorilla racks. But in the cold storage here, there's built-in shelves that will stay. And while we're in here, I'll point out that the furnace is a high-efficient Linux. It's a two-stage furnace. And uh, anyway, it's, it's very efficient. And this water heater is original to the home, which means it's about five, five and a half years old. And so we're good there. Uh, we do have this full bath for down here and there's a shower. Um, again, with the crushed marble on the countertops. And right here we have an under storage, like an under the stairs storage area. So we'll, you can see that when you come to the home. So that's the layout of the home. Let's take you out to the backyard now and we will take a look at some of the features back there and then touch on the RV pad as well. So back here, they have poured um, a large concrete pad. All this was professionally done. They've got it color stamped along the perimeter and um, Underneath here, um, it's kind of nice because they have a light switch for all these lights and then an electrical outlet in case you ever needed to plug anything in. And then this is a gas fire pit and um, there's glass marbles and everything in there. And that's a really pretty kit um, that they've got in here. All of these plants and things are on a drip line system. They're very pretty in the spring. Right now, everything looks dormant, but uh, very pretty plants all around. Oh, you know, over here, I need to just show you that they do have a uh, walkway in case you were to utilize this separate entrance. So we've got a gate over there, and then here's your separate entrance to the basement. And then on the other side, we've got the RV pad. I don't know for sure if they're gonna leave those lights, so if that's important to you, be sure to ask for them in your offer or at least have some dialogue with us about the lights. So look at this big concrete pad. So uh, long enough for pretty much any RV or trailer and on the side of the home over there, they put a 30 amp designated plug-in for your RV. It's got the big three prong, like 220 looking outlet. So you can keep your RVs trickle charged uh, while they're parked here on the side. And then this additional concrete is just fun for basketball or extra storage. Or um, if you wanted to put a hot tub, there's electrical nearby that you could uh, have an electrician set that up. Um, so yeah, beautiful backyard, all the window well covers are in, nice trees, and this nice gazebo. Uh, that's the backyard. Let's uh, show you the garage, and that'll conclude the tour after you see the garage. It's extra wide, extra deep, so we will talk about that here in just a sec.
So this big garage, uh, it is three car. It's long enough to fit a full size truck. As you can see, that's a one ton truck. And it has a third bay as well. So let me talk to you about what stays here. Um, most of the shelving that you see is going to stay. All these Gorilla Racks, uh, they are bolted to the wall, so they'll let them, they'll, they'll leave them here. Um, there's some fast track storage uh, bolted to the walls as well. Uh, the hooks are accessories to fit what you want to store on them. So the hooks and the little baskets on them are going to leave but the system will stay and you can get on Amazon and order your own accessory storage items to put on the fast track system. Uh, these built in cabinets and little workbench here, that will stay, they're bolted to the wall. The overhead storage will also stay. What's basically going is just this right here, the white cabinet and the Gorilla Rack, those aren't bolted, they'll, they'll take that. Um, the water storage also, is not going to stay. Um, that's it for the garage. I hope you enjoyed watching this video tour and got a good feel for the layout of the home as well as some of the features of it. If you'd like to come and see it in person, feel free to reach out to me. You can call or text and I'm happy to show you this home or reach out to the agent you're already working with and have them show it to you. Thanks for watching.